Hi everyone! My name is Arian Bautista. Today, I'm going to discuss the topic of antibiotics known as tetracycline. Why is this medication prescribed and how does it work? In the field of veterinary medicine, the class of antibiotics known as tetracycline has the highest rate of application. They are considered the first-line drugs used in food animals, which includes aquaculture species, exotic animals, and honeybees. However, their utilization in companion animals, horses, and humans is significantly lower. Tetracycline is employed in the treatment of infections brought by bacteria such as pneumonia and other diseases affecting the respiratory tract. Infections of the skin, eyes, lymphatic system, intestinal tract, genital system, and urinary system are some of the examples. On the other hand, there are also diseases that can be transmitted from animals to humans by ticks, mites, and other parasites. Tetracyclines are classified based on their sources and the duration of action and elimination. Two types of tetracycline sources are the naturally occurring tetracyclines and the semi-synthetic tetracyclines. Next, the tetracyclines based on duration of action and elimination includes short-acting tetracyclines, intermediate-acting tetracyclines, and the long-acting tetracyclines. For its therapeutic uses, in small animals such as in dogs and cats, doxycycline, minocycline, and tetracycline are used in the treatment of respiratory and urinary tract infections as specific therapy for Borrelia or Lyme disease, Brucella, and other infections. In large animals, tetracycline, chlortetracycline, and oxytetracycline are used in the treatment of local and systemic bacterial, chlamydial, Rickettsial and protozoal infections in animals, including cattle, sheep, swine, as well as the horses. Now, let's discuss the differences between tetracyclines. All tetracyclines work in the same way, but there are still differences between them. Both doxycycline and minocycline are more lipid soluble than tetracycline, chlortetracycline, or oxytetracycline which allows them to permeate the central nervous system, the eye, and the prostate at therapeutic doses. Moreover, doxycycline is exceptional in that the majority of it is eliminated through the digestive tract. For its administration, tetracyclines are administered orally or IV for every 8 to 12 hours. IM injections produce pain, irritation, and sterile abscesses unless special buffered solution are used. The absorption of oxytetracycline from IM sites can be delayed through chemical modification, particularly carrier selection and high magnesium content, resulting in a long-acting action. Now, what are tetracycline's mechanism of action? Tetracyclines decrease protein synthesis by preventing the attachment of charged aminosyl tRNA to the A site on the ribosome. Thus, they impede the entry of additional amino acids to the nascent peptide chain. In most cases, the effect is inhibiting, and it is reversible once the medicine is stopped from being taken. Also, changes in the permeability of the microbial cell membrane can cause bacteria to develop resistance to the tetracycline antibiotics. This is the end of my report. Thank you and see you in our next videos.